I want to close this account. $112.14. All right, small bills. No, you're overdrawn that much. What does that mean? It means you hit zero. Here's zero. You went below zero. Okay. Sir? Take me, God. Don't play with me. I was wondering if I could use your phone. My house? Vincent's essentially the story of uh, a curmudgeonly older gentleman who's kind of given up on life. He's he's uh, drinks too much, smokes too much, gambles. He's in a lot of debt. This is my tree. You wrecked. Stay here. I'm calling the cops. Is everything okay? I'm Maggie. I guess I'm your new neighbor. So? Well, we're moving in. In next door moves a single mom with her 12-year-old son, and she's going through a divorce. He, Vincent, ends up becoming this little boy's babysitter. And it's the least likely babysitter you would ever, ever imagine or ever want. Bill Murray plays that babysitter. And these two um, end up changing each other's lives. I can watch the kid after school. I can do $11 an hour. Let's go! Here's a dime. Call your mom. Cost more than a dime. All right, here. Cost more than that. Call collect. You like him? He's interesting. In a gotcha sort of way. Hey, look, it's all of You need to defend yourself or you get mowed down. Get out. You small. You haven't noticed. And so is Hitler. That's a horrible comparison. So how do you and Vincent know each other? I'm working for this man. I go hard. I'm also a dancer. Who is she? A lady of the night. Do you know what that means? She works that night. You think of Naomi Watts, you don't think of, um, the character she plays in St. Vincent, which is a lady of the night, a Russian prostitute named Daka. And, you know, from the beginning, when we, once we decided that the character of Daka was going to be Russian, uh, Naomi Watts just kind of dug in and, and started studying Russian dialects. And what made it really complete was the wardrobe. Kasia Mamon's brilliant wardrobe, inspired by, you know, Russian socialites in Russian strippers. Ben, what kind of a man takes a child to a bar and to the racetrack? Who passed in your Cheerios? Is there anything going on that we should be aware of? Well, I don't want to take up all your time. <laughs> <laughs> we have loads of time. So we, we already, in this culture, in this society, have put a stamp on Melissa McCarthy. Who is Melissa McCarthy? Oh, Melissa McCarthy is a comedian. Oh, she does broad comedy. Melissa McCarthy, before she did one ounce of comedy, did nine, seven years of serious theater off Broadway. Seven dramatic roles. So she's first and foremost, beyond and, and before anything, an actor who I think is one of the best actors around, who has incredible range. We just haven't been blessed enough to see it. And so she read the script and said, I know who this is. This is a single mom. This is a single mom struggling to make his ends meet, working long hours who can't afford even babysitting. She knew who that was. That's not funny. There's nothing funny in that role. So she was able to just inhabit that spirit right off the bat. And we never pushed it. We never looked for a joke one time in her work. And still we got a couple because it's, you know, she, she's able to just take a little moment and just give it just a, a slight laugh to it but always stay real and it, I, I just love her work in the film and i love her as a person let me show you one thing do it right and break the guy's nose break his nose relax you're not gonna get it right and saint vincent's a story about um our our judgment of people and how we look at people and we immediately put a stamp on them um we put a stamp on the character of vincent played by bill murray we say oh this guy's not a good guy he maybe is even a, a sort of a loser type He's an alcoholic, or or he he, he um, has a relationship with a prostitute, a lady of the night, and we make a judgment of who he is right away because of uh, what he appears to be. And then over time, in the film, you figure out this guy was a war hero. This guy was like took care of his sick wife for half, of, you know, for eight years. And so, I, I find that often in life, we look at someone and we assess who they are like in the blink of an eye. And the truth is, you have no idea who someone is. You might not know who someone is after 20 years. So to make an assumption after six seconds is not, not the way to be. 
And so that's what the movie really is about at its core. And it's standing in front of you. You don't like people. And you take it and you people don't like him. Except you. Why are you like him? Going to lead your way. Sing your song. Is a human being we celebrate for the sacrifices that they make for their commitment to making the world a better place. Why is he mowing your dirt patch? I'm showing him how the world works. We work, you get paid, you drink. Are you drinking alcohol? I honestly don't remember. <laughs>